hello everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel this is part two of my fall decor with me we are doing the entryway console table and fireplace with some diys showing you how to achieve the autumn look in an affordable way welcome to my home we are decorating this console table at the beginning of august i decorated this table with some gorgeous hydrangeas from my backyard and i posted on instagram now these are completely dry and the ones left outside are turning a deep red so so pretty so let's cut a few of these stems and redo our all floral arrangement when the streams are getting strong just hold When drying hydrangeas, timing is everything. The best thing is to wait for the flowers to start to dry naturally on the plant. I pick these at the end of August. I take most of the leaves, not completely, and put them in a vase with half a cup of water. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Cindy and on this channel I share all things home related, some home decor, some DIYs, some room makeovers, shop with me, a little bit of recipe. And if you like content like this, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and become part of this community. going in with one of my recent purchases this coffee table book the art of home it's a beautiful lovely book nice size as well i really recommend it and we are adding our wooden pumpkins that i bought and share on my fall decor haul from hobby lobby these are so so pretty giving me that warmth that we are looking for for fall 2024 adding architecture digest book some taper candle holders and our taupe candles from hobby lobby last but not least this travertine and marble piece is a tea light candle hoarder and on the other side you can use it with a taper candle i'm using it as you can see here to hold the matches and if you saw my living room refresh that i did with the company cozy the ottoman i brought it here and it's perfect um in the mornings where we are Heading outside, like my girls, they sit here to put on their shoes. I did brought back my black table, which you are going to see when I decorate the living room. Added this checker bro blanket that we bought last year for fall at Home Goods. Now moving on to the entryway door. I share this door mat with you when I went to my Hobby Lobby trip. This is regular price $12.99 with a 40% off. But this combination is great. So let's add some coziness to our front door. This wreath I shared last year from Target. It's a large eucalyptus wreath and I'm just going to clean up a little bit the door and we are going to use the same one. The future is Next is to paint this ceramic pumpkins. These were purchased throughout the years from Home Goods, and it's time to repurpose these and give them a new look. I'm going to be using the paints that I already have in my home. This one was a sample paint that I bought when I was deciding what paint colors I was going to use for my home office makeover. And this one is in the color Mushroom by Bear and they are in an eggshell finish so i added 
a little bit of baking soda and a couple of drops of this real brown paint from walmart so this is the first coat of paint we have to let them dry not completely and then i'm gonna go over with the regular brown just to create some dimensions on the crease now for the top part i use brown a little bit of black paint and some baking soda as well here's my baby helping me paint that and then i went back in with the brown for more dimension and i'm really happy how it turned out now for this one i wanted a different color so i'm going in with some green painting the entire pumpkin and then leaving it to dry and then i can do the next one the tip of this one is already brown so i'm gonna leave it as it is i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day i'm trying to make this darkness go and now painting this one with a dark brown i'll paint with colors and i'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. i'm gonna let the sun shine in I went in again with the damp paper towel with the lighter color, the creamy mushroom. Again, to create dimension, I sprinkled some baking soda and I painted the top with black. And again, this is to have fun. This does not have to be perfect. I really like how it turned out. It completely transformed this glam pumpkins to a more organic, rustic one. Lastly, I found this two plastic ones that I bought a few years ago at Michael's to make another DIY. This was so much fun to paint completely different from the glass ones or ceramic ones. And I did it one with the mushroom and then this one with the green. As you can see, it gives a more muted green than the ceramic one. I really, really liked it. Now we are going to style our DIY pumpkins by the fireplace. Can't wait to style this entire room and share it with all of you. And the first thing that I always like to do is to get into YouTube and find a seasonal TV frame artwork. You just go to your YouTube. You don't need to have a frame TV. Search for frame TV art and you can check for vintage. As you can see here, I have one. Um, for fall and this will set up the moods to start decorating i will be using this gorgeous maple leaf stems from at home stores and i'm going to create a garland with three stems i will be adding it to one side of the fireplace making it asymmetrical And now I'm filling up the gaps with this real dry maple leaf stems that I used last year from my backyard. I used this as well in my Halloween entryway decor and it was beautiful. I store them in paper so it could be used the next year and they are intact. And now we are adding our DIYs pumpkin to one side of the fireplace. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.
before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Add a dry silver dollar eucalyptus stems and the pigtails i dry them as well added some stems to our garland and i'm pleased with how this turned out very natural organic and with the moody colors i'm going for this fall 2024 please let me know down in the comments what do you think I appreciate all of you for being here. I hope you get inspired to use what you already have in your home and recreate something beautiful. Please follow me on Instagram on Inspiration by CP. God bless you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh.